My name is Jessica Ryan and I'm a sustainable fashion blogger and lifestyle blogger. Um, if you caught my last videos, they were a series of introduction videos on uh, this course that I will be creating on YouTube where I will be showing you how to create a practical wardrobe. I figured I would offer my course here on YouTube and uh, share with you all my insider tips and examples of how to build a practical wardrobe that is more sustainable um, and practical for your lifestyle. Um, so the first thing that we need to worry about is identifying our personal style. And the best way to do that is to go into your closet and pick out the style saviors so items that you often wear and love wearing and you feel comfortable in, um, you're going to pull those aside and um, take out any items that are space wasters. So anything that is uh, oversized, too small, um, it, it was a trendy item that you bought that you no longer are interested in wearing. Um, and things like that. Since our wardrobe is such a big investment um, and we spend so much money on clothes, um, we need to be able to identify the clothes that we're going to enjoy wearing and the clothes that we're not going to enjoy wearing. So that, that um, becomes a lot easier when you know your personal style. Um, so today I'll be showing you some examples of my essential bottoms, so my essential pants, my essential skirts that I wear from season to season. Um, I, I do have items where I, I wear specifically for spring or specifically for winter, and I always um, keep those in storage um, whenever uh, it's not in season and then I pull it out and it feels like I have a whole brand new wardrobe. Um, so that really help, has helped me um, eliminate a lot of uh, shopping triggers, which I will teach you a lot about. Um, but today um, we will be going through the basics that I love to wear. And um, so a lot of my personal style is uh, going to be um, I would say prairie, vintage, and folk style influence. Um, so that means I really like uh, knitted skirts, um, but I also like modern styles too, like wide leg pants um, and things that are just like comfortable for everyday stuff or um, for just like days when you're at home not doing much. Um, so basically, uh, let's start with these pants. I thrifted these pants and I was looking for a pleated um, trouser that was in this color um, and luckily I found them at a thrift store. Um, you can find a lot of essential items at the thrift store. Um, so that makes it a very sustainable option. Um, so these pants are really great for summer and for winter. Um, you can actually go on my Instagram or my blog and see how I styled them um, in different ways. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great basic pant, um, especially when you don't want to wear jeans all the time, so it's nice to have different colors. Um, I find that I like to wear a lot of different colors and have different kinds of neutrals. Like the, there are so many colors that we can consider as neutrals now. So if we start investing in more neutrals, um, that gives us more styling options for everyday outfits. Um, so once you find styles that you like to wear, um, you should always make a note of it. Um, you can also pre
create a um, wardrobe journal um, to keep track of the things that you like and the things that you don't like while you're identifying your personal style. Um, so like when it comes to jeans, which we all are gonna be wearing jeans, um, some things that I have identified um, that I don't like is skinny jeans. Um, a lot of the time I don't like cropped, jeans, cropped styles, um, but sometimes they're, they're nice for the spring or the summer. Um, but most of the time I'll go for a wider leg. Um, so these are like, a, so these are a straight leg that I like to wear all the time. They're extremely comfortable. They're by the brand AG, uh, I forget her name, but it's like Adriana something. Um, but I really love this brand of jeans and they are actually starting to uh, create um, styles that are made out of organic cotton. So that's really um, a great brand to, to keep in mind if you're trying to be sustainable. Um, another style that I like is the Kick Crop um, by Everlane. Um, so that is a crop style, but they actually um, are not as cropped as a lot of pants. So I actually like where it hits me. Um, it's just like a very flattering cut and I'm, they're extremely comfortable. They're almost like a skinny jean, but they still have like a little bit of room. So that makes them more comfortable. Um, and then another style I really like is like the sailor pant style. Um, both these pants, these are this light wash um, style and this uh, green style are both from Madewell and they're actually both um, called the Emmet pants and um, I found that I really liked how comfortable these pants were but I wanted a longer pair so I opted for this style um, and got the tall version. Um, so these actually fit and look a lot like the Jesse Cam pants, um, but they're at a much more affordable price point. Um, so that's always good to know. <laughs> um, but I, I always believe that if you are going to buy something that is not ethically or sustainably made because um, we all can't access um, the expensive sustainable brands all the time and we can't always be on the hunt at thrift stores because that to be honest that is extremely time consuming and not everyone is going to have the time to do that so if you find a style that you truly love to wear and that you plan on wearing for a long time, um, that's okay. I know a lot of people might not agree with that, but we have to be realistic when investing in, in clothing because uh, we don't want to be going in debt over, or over clothes. And um, it does help now that they have like a firm and after pay where you can uh, make monthly payments or weekly payments for a more expensive item, but I mean We're all gonna be buying things from from more accessible brands and The most important thing is just to make our voices heard with those companies and Hopefully they will start to shift into more sustainable and ethical practices Evil has just become one of those brands that I like investing in because I know the quality is there. We are trying um, to be more sustainable in some areas. Like I've seen a uh, recycled material swimsuit line and um, an organic cotton jean line. Um, so they're, they're starting to, to move towards more sustainable and ethical practices, but um, they're not perfect and you know what? Not every consumer is perfect, so um, as long as you intend on wearing it a lot 
and give them a good life, um, then it just makes sense to invest in the clothes that you're going to wear. Um, let's see, another thing that I love is linen. So as you're going through your closet, uh, make sure you identify what um, materials you like to wear. So a lot of the time when I was buying like stuff from Forever 21 and H&M, um, I would realize how cheap the material was if it was like polyester or um, just like a plastic based uh, material and how uncomfortable it was, how suffocating it felt. Um, so that's why I opted for more uh, natural fabrics. Um, so I buy a lot of linen clothing. Um, these linen pants I bought from a brand called Hip Philosophy and they actually design a lot of uh, basic items that are all made out of linen and you can customize um, the styles and you can also choose the color that you want. Um, <clears throat> so it's a slow fashion company, um, but you can, like once you find a style that you really love, then you can go back and buy a different color, which is nice. Um, that's one of my wardrobe saviors is when I find something that I like, it's always nice to go back and buy a different color because that creates more outfits um, and more options with uh, just those funky things that you have in your wardrobe because we all have those funky stuff. Um, all that funky stuff. <laughs> um, this is another linen, linen piece that I wear throughout the seasons. Um, I know linen is commonly um, worn in the summertime, which it, it is a really nice material in the summertime, but it can easy, easily be layered from the wintertime, which I really like. Um, I really like this, uh, this crop of this white skirt. It's just below the knee. Um, I have another white skirt that is like more boho summery that I really only wear like in the summertime. So this is like more of a uh, style that's timeless. Um, so yeah, there's that. 